You can apply brush strokes to any image to create a frame or edge effect in Affinity Photo. Combination of black and white really works well, but of course you can use other colors as well. It could be red and green. You can also change the opacity, change the brush. I'm using oils. You don't have to use oils. You can use inks and other ones. Key thing is layers. Just makes it easier just to delete it. So if you don't like the layer, also you can add effects. So go to the paintbrush tool, make certain you use combination of black and white or some other color scheme. Go to layer and new layer, and then select a brush, any of them. Oils, good start. And set the width to about 300 or 400 and apply all the way around. Now I'm going for black initially. You don't have to, I'm just doing it very loosely. I'm using an art pad and pen as well. But I want to avoid having anything of the image around that edge. So I'm just covering it very quickly over that. Just to give a nice roughness around that. And then of course you can apply it just subtly, just subtle touches, brush it backwards and forwards. And of course you can always vary the opacity or change the color to maybe white and apply it exactly the same. So now I'm just changing the color to white and I'm gonna put it slightly inside that. Now you could do it the other way around, of course, it's another option. Just apply it, just go around, just drag it along there. You can avoid the edges if you want, but I'm just gonna create a very rough design there and you've got your design. Again, change a brush. You don't have to keep the same brush for everything. Also, maybe apply it in more density in some areas than other areas. You don't have to have it sort of uniform. Go to the edge like that or the corner. And maybe then do some diagonals to give it sort of like a, a tape. Of course, you can always go and photograph a tape and then import it and place it on the image. Apply it a couple of times just to create that sort of effect of a sort of tape. So once you've done that, you can always add other layers. You don't have to have just one layer or you can apply effects. So go to filters and distort and deform. The deform's great. You could of course use maybe the smudge brush is another option. Just add some handles and I'd suggest handles just slightly inside that frame or edge and then push towards the edge of the image. Just avoid stretching it and pulling it away so you can see the photo beneath it. And that just creates a bit of more uniqueness to your frame instead of having a sort of uniform frame. And click apply. And then you can go over and select another layer. So layer and new layer. Create new layer, you can see it's completely blank. Paintbrush tool and set it to white or black and apply again. Maybe go and change the brush. You don't have to keep it oils. Just apply it all the way over, all the way around. So you've got that lovely design all the way covering the edge. Maybe go and select a different brush, change the color and apply again. Maybe this time black. Again, you can change the opacity as well. You don't have to keep it 100%. Don't have to apply it uniform all the way around. So you've got two layers, you can combine them. You can use blending modes if you wish. Also, you can go and add effects to it. So go to effects at the bottom of layers, add now to shadow and 3D and click close. So any brush stroke you apply now will be sort of three dimensional or at least a bit of three dimensional. So the ink brushes will have a shadow applied. This time I'm using inks, but again, you have to make certain you set the size. Don't have to apply it uniform, so just dab it. Just apply it in dabs all the way around or maybe more consistent, just drag it along or just subtle touches. Go around the edge, change the color and apply again. And of course you can then apply filter effects and much, much more to that layer as well or combine it once you're finished, once you create your kind of frame. and flatten the image.